Good morning. It's Debbie from Home Bodies Fitness and Yoga. We're going to get ready for our Sunday morning yoga. So go ahead and sit into a child's pose and a wide legged. If you need any props, grab them. Feel free to sit on a block or um, put a block even or a towel between your knees and your hamstrings, or your calves and your hamstrings, and just sit down and push back your hips as far as you can. So there's about three people I can't see the floor with. I think it's Brandy, Amanda, and even Lori. I think it's Lori. I think it's Michelle. I know this, this technique of um, camera, shooting on camera, is very challenging to get our full mats in there sometimes. So let your belly soften in between your thighs and just um, while you're in child's pose, and I have my head a little elevated so you can hear me better, just think about um, rounding your spine a little bit, the, the lower back. Just pull the belly up to the spine for a moment. And then kind of do cat-cow in your child pose. So dip your belly, arch your back, and then round your back, pull your belly up and in. And do that again a couple of times, letting the, the belly soften towards the floor, chin to chest, round and then find your way into a settling in, nice and easy, relaxed pose. Just start to scan your body from head to toe and notice where or if you have any tension and see if you can let go of that tension. And maybe here, set an intention while we are in our child's pose, something that you like to share into the universe, keep for yourself, Use as a mantra, perhaps, this morning. And then begin to activate your child's pose. Begin to stretch your arms a little bit longer, walk your hips back a little bit more, further, drop your belly a little bit more, and just settle in. And then rise up onto your fingertips and walk over to your right side. Left hand on top of right, pushing your hip back to your heel. Relax the shoulders down. Melt your heart. Keep the intention with you. Have it nearby, in your mind, in your mantra. And then rise up and go to the other side. Maybe the right hand's on top of the left. Maybe it's a little bit longer and just start to settle into that side stretch. And then make your way back to the center. Stretch your arms forward, push your hips back. And then round yourself onto your hands and knees into a nice big cat pose. Turn, turn, uh, tuck the tailbone underneath you, let your head come down. Then tuck your toes, arch your back, dip your belly, wag your tail side to side. And just start to get out any of those creaks and cracks. And then place the top of the foot down, chin to chest, round and curl your spine. Spread your upper back open. See if you can pull the pinkies towards the edge of the mat here. And then relax your chest down in between. Maybe you tuck your toes again. Do a couple on your own using your own breath, rounding and curling, chin to chest, head to floor, tailbone tucks under, and then dip your belly, arch your back, and just move around in the spaces that feel right to you. And then start to take this into some dancing lions, moving around, shoulders, hips, knees, wrists, ankles. Go as deep or as soft as you need to. Listen to your body, always more important than your head, and reverse it when you can. Because if we always listen to our head, we practice with our egos, that's where we start to challenge ourselves and get into places that maybe aren't appropriate. Dip your belly, arch your back, and come into a wide-legged hybrid cobra up dog, shoulders down, and just roll side to side. And then push back one more time to your heels and sit back on your heels, stretch the arms up overhead. Reach your arms all the way up, up, up. Right arm to the floor, lift up and over to the right side. Good, come back up, two arms up. Left arm to the floor, lift up and over to the left side. 
come on back up. One more time, right arm to the floor. Press. Back up and over to the left side. Press all the way back up to center. Both hands up in the air. Turn your palms to the ceiling. Drop your shoulders down. Drop your ribs. Tuck them under. And as you exhale, dive down, chin to chest, hand to floor. Lift your hips up. Bring your knees back underneath your toe, uh, your knees underneath your hips, and tuck your toes and sit back just for a moment on the bottoms of your feet, stretching out the, the bottoms of our feet. Push back as far as you want or can. Take another breath. And then rise up into a soft, easy downward facing dog, bending the knees. Bringing the chest towards the thighs, head hangs down. Just send the weight from side to side, front and back, hands and feet, right and left sides. And just notice any points of tension there. See if you can push your chest back to your thighs so you're not doing like a handstand position. You're, you're in an upside down V, it's just our knees are bent, our feet are a little wider. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet, coming into a soft, easy forward fold and just sway a little side to side. And just start to get into a little bit, maybe a little bit more movement in your body. Find yourself back into the center, grab opposite elbows and hang. Let your head hang down, let your hips lift up. Don't force it, just let gravity take you down. Let the weight of your head and your torso take you down. Crown of the head reaches down, Let's take a few breaths. And then just switch the cross of your arm so the less habitual arm comes in front of you. And then keep that arm there and roll up through your spine, chin to chest. Arms come up over your head. Lean to the right side as you exhale. Pull the arms apart. Inhale, lean to the left side as you exhale. And then come all the way back to center. Reach your arms up over your head. And I've got my arms crossed still, so you can do that, or just have your arms open. And one more time, lean to the right side. So I've got a little different, a little bit of a mudra, and my hands come back to center, left side. Good. And then come back to center, release the arms, bring them behind your back, interlace fingers, knuckles down towards the earth, lift your chest up. Stretch your arms behind you and down as you lift your chest up, and maybe backwards. So think about the collarbones pulling up to the sky and back behind you. And then bring your feet a little bit closer together, back hips width apart, and then release your arms to your heart center. Send your weight to your left leg and lift your right heel up. So without compromising and putting all that weight into that left hip, stay even. And then just lift your right foot off the floor, flex the foot. Extend the leg. Bend the knee and place it down on the floor. So find your placement once again on the floor. Shift your weight to your right leg. Notice the difference from side to side. Left leg lifts up. And maybe you extend, re-bend, and place the foot down. Good. One more time. Right leg, lift it up, balance. Kick it forward. Now step forward two to three feet. Charge your body forward, lift your left leg off the floor, dip your belly, arch your back, stay here one breath. As you empty the breath, bring the left knee to your chest, extend the leg out, step forward, charge your body forward, and reach the right leg back behind you, dip your belly, lift your heart, and then step your right foot to your left foot, top of the mat. That was good, Rachel, I didn't do that. She's right. <laughs> Feet together at the top of your mat. Palms together, interlace your fingers, release thumb and forefinger, bring the arms up overhead. Lift up and over, Ardha Chandrasana in a standing side bend. Now think about lifting up and over a ball underneath the right side of your body, lifting your heart, your throat open to the side. Come back to center on the inhale and up and over to the other side. You're pulling that top arm with the bottom arm and you're lifting up and over, as I said, an imaginary ball. Exhale. Come back to center, lift your heart. You maybe drop back into a little bit of a back bend or a big back bend, depending on you. And lifting up with the upper and middle back rather than the lower back. Then softening the knees, biceps stay by the ears and come forward. 
Release your hands to the floor, shins or blocks. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands may be on your shins just to get that long spine. Exhale, forward fold, hang your head, hips in the air. One more time, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold down and ragdoll yourself all the way back up to standing. Bring the arms with you overhead. Bring the hands to your heart center as you exhale. Settle in for Tadasana. Just find your placement. Think about your feet grounding down evenly into the earth. Tailbone tucks, heart opens, shoulders pressed down. Crown of the head reaches to the sky. Revisit that intention that you may have made or that mantra or any thoughts that you have. Open your eyes, sweep the arms down, up, and overhead. And then take a nice big swan dive down to the floor. Hands on floor, shins, or blocks. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step, step to a high plank. Hold your high plank, not your breath. Shoulders on top of wrist. Push the heel of the hand down. Pull the belly in and put a slight rounding in that upper back. Then either lower to your knees or go halfway down, chaturanga. Push off your toes. Upward dog, or you're on your belly for cobra. Downward dog, hips high in the sky, chest to your thighs. Breathe, inhale. And exhale, chest keeps pushing towards your thighs, heels press towards the floor. Hips are up in the air. Keep breathing, spread your arms wide from the pinkies. Start to push the fingers out to the outer edges of your mat. And then softening your knees, high on your toes, make your way to the top of your mat, your way. Halfway lift, inhale, melt, fold, exhale, and ride the breath to standing, arms come all the way up overhead, let's take it right back down through the center. Hang your head, it's okay, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, step, step, chaturanga, or to your knees, you can hop, float, or fly during these vinyasas, hips up in the air, you can add push-ups, or you can skip the whole thing, take a couple more breaths, inhale, and exhale. Softening your knees, we're going to look forward, make your way to the top of your mat, however you get there is great. Halfway lift, inhale, melt, fold, exhale, ride the breath to stand, bring the arms all the way up, and let's take it down one more time. So your Namaskar A, hands to floor shins or blocks, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release, lost Michelle for a second, inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog, stay there, take some breaths, inhale, and exhale. Shake yourself from side to side, just try to find some, some strength, some power, and maybe some softness at the same time. And then let's bring our feet together, touching the toes if you can. Lift that right leg back high in the sky. Look in between your hands and bring your right foot through. Turn your left foot on its side, 45 degrees, right heel to right instep, or left instep, or heel to heel. And then draw that right hip towards midline. Let your arms rest by your side and hover off the floor. And really feel the glutes start to activate here. As you start to bring your torso up, keep your arms by your side. And then bring the arms back by your side behind you and tilt forward. Right thigh parallel to the floor. Draw that left hip forward, right hip back. Hugging your arms behind you like you're holding a ball. And then as you inhale, rise up, bring the arms with you overhead, warrior one, in. Draw those ribs downward, press the pinky toe to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling, shoulders down. Keep on breathing. One more big one. Straighten your front leg and fold over your leg. Maybe you use blocks underneath your hands. Maybe you shorten your stance for this first one. Maybe you're good where you are. Just keep pulling that right hip back and left hip forward. Hang your head towards your shin and breathe. Taking another breath, bring your right hand on the inside of your right foot or shin. Left hand just traces up your arm all the way open for triangle. It's a long pose, so maybe you need to shorten that stance, as I said. Stacking shoulders, stacking hips, pull the knees up for protection. Draw the heels together, lift out of your waistline, breathe in. And as you empty the breath, we're gonna take that left hand back down. Square off your hips, right arm comes up, open to the right side, twist, breathe, big toe presses down, hips squeeze toward midline. 
Gaze up at your right hand or down at your left hand if that feels better for you. As you exhale, the right hand comes down. We step back, take that vinyasa or skip it, add to it, do you. That was my yesterday shirt, you do you, I'll do me. And breathe, head down towards your chest. Bringing your feet closer together. Left leg in the air, nice and high. Look between your hands, step it through, turn the right foot on its side. Just check out the alignment before you even come up. And then hover your fingers off the floor and hug everything towards the midline. And as you rise up, bring your torso with you. Bring the arms behind your back, palms face each other. And then lean forward just enough. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then rise all the way up to warrior one. Back foot turns forward, shoulders down, ribs towards hips. Left knee is bent a whole lot if you can. Inhale, exhale, one more breath, lifting your heart, straighten your front leg, and fold over that left leg. Hands to floor, maybe the shins, maybe a block, maybe you shorten your stance. Head folds down, and my hamstrings are tight, so I don't go quite so far. Make sure also that that front leg doesn't hyperextend with front knee, so you think about lifting the kneecap up rather than pushing it back or down. One more breath, guys. On the inhale, lengthen your spine. Right, a left hand inside, left foot. Right arm's gonna trace up the left arm and stack shoulders, triangle pose, make any changes that you need. Lift your heart up, breathe in, breathe out. Pull your knees up nice and strong. One more breath. Exhale, look down, right hand down. Hips turn square, left arm comes up, we twist to the left side, stacking shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. One more big breath. As you exhale, left hand comes down, take your vinyasa, any which way you want, skip it if you want. Downward dog is where we end. Inhale and exhale. <clears throat> so just let your breath guide you in through in and out of the poses. And in your, in your poses, see if you can find a little power and a little peace at the same time. Or maybe not exactly at the same time, but during the pose. Feet together, right leg in the air. Right leg steps through. Left foot turns, warrior one, right up into it. Straighten your front leg, fold over. Hang your head towards your shin. Halfway lift, inhale, right hand inside. Left arm traces up an open triangle pose. Take a breath here. Now look down at your right toes. Bend your right knee, find warrior two, make whatever adjustments you need to do in this pose. Gaze towards your right middle finger. Pull back a little more with your left arm. Pull forward a little more with your right arm. Think about your upper thighs going outward while your heels pull inward. Inhale, pull back a little more with that left arm edge. Yeah, beautiful. Exhale, you can't see it, but I can. Good, one more breath. Now straighten arms, straighten legs. Turn your right toes to the left, one quarter turn. Bring your arms behind your back, fingers, wrists, forearms, elbows, or reverse prayer. So turn your toes slightly pigeoned. Lift your heart up and lift your, or push your back against your hands if you have it up in your prayer pose, or even if your hands are on your back. And then lead with your heart and come halfway down, soften the knees. Crown the head forward so the crown of the head and the tailbone line up together. Keep opening up the front of your shoulders here and let your crown of your head reach forward nice and long without hyperextending the knees. As you inhale, lift a little bit higher, start to rise up, turn your toes out in goddess with your arms still bound behind your back, and then release the bind, bring the arms up, and then bring them out to your goal posts. Press your arms and legs straight. Good, and then bend your elbows, drop your seat, and just lean to your right side, put your elbow behind your hip. Inhale, center, lean to your left side. Inhale, center, straighten up arms and legs. Turn around, face the front of the room, windmill down, left arm down, right arm up. Open up your twist, breathe in, and empty out. Right hand comes down as you exhale, vinyasa, or skip, or add. 
Again, hips up in the air. Now we're facing dog, feet together, left leg in the air. Look through, step it through, right foot turns, warrior one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, straighten legs, fold over. Hang your head towards your shin. Make any adjustments you need. Left arm down, right arm traces up. Triangle pose. Just try to open up that hip as well. As you exhale, bend your front knee, find warrior two facing your right side. Pull back with your right arm, forward with your left. Knee points forward over second, third toes. Hips open up, heels squeeze together. Let's pump it once. I don't know if we did this on the other side, but let's do it anyway. Exhale. Breathe, pull in two directions. And then this time as we pump, we're going to turn towards our right side. Arms come back down by your back. Fingers, wrists, forearms, elbows, or reverse prayer one more time. If you cross your thumbs, switch the cross of your thumbs. Lift your heart up. Push your shoulders or your um, mid-back and upper back towards your hands and your hands towards your shoulders or your back. And then lead, come halfway down only. Head in line with the spine all the way down to your tailbone. My knees are softly bent. Now release your arms, just shoulder height, palms down. Lift your torso a little bit higher and take your left arm not to the floor but towards the floor. Right arm up. So you're not touching unless you need to. You can touch a block as well. And then come back to center. Right arm down, hovering. Left arm up. You might not get as much. I don't have as much rotation on this side either. And then come back in one more time. Left arm hovering down to the floor. Right arm up. Try not to shift your hips to make that twist happen. Come back to center and do it one more time. So if you shift your hips, yeah, you'll probably get a little bit more rotation and stacking of the shoulders and come back to center. But if you don't lift your hips, you'll just get, you know, you'll go as far as you can go. And then rise up, bringing the arms up overhead. Hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, knuckles to the knuckles. Turn the toes out to the side. Bend your knees into your goddess. Press through your heels. Lean to your right side. Exhale. Come back to center. Lean to your left side. Exhale. Just taking a little core work here. Inhale one more time, right side. Inhale, one more time, left side as you exhale. Come back to center, sit a little deeper. Then rise up, arms and legs. Turn around, face the front of the room, right arm down, left arm up, twist. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Left hand down, vinyasa. Up and down dogs, hips in the air. Inhale. And exhale. Soften your knees and walk your hands back to your feet, back of your mat. Keep your feet a little bit wide, maybe hips width or wider. Take your peace finger grip around your big toes. Look up, inhale. Exhale, fold, elbows out to the side, head hangs down. Pulling your body closer to half, whatever that means for you. Pressing, 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 and pulling. And then halfway lift, inhale. Release the toe grip, hands to hips. Flat back, rise up to standing. Maybe you do a little bit of back bend. Come back to center. Heel toe your feet together. Arms by your side. Inhale, rise, raise the right leg up, arms up. Exhale, extend your right leg. Step forward, charge your body forward, warrior three. Now you can have your hands out in front of you, in prayer, by your side. Any variations are welcome. In three, two, one. Left knee to the chest, arms come back up overhead. Extend that leg out. Step forward, charge your body forward, warrior three. Variations, all are welcome. Biceps by the ears, hands to your heart. Arms by your side, one more breath. Feet together, top of the mat, hands to prayer. Tadasana, settle in. Maybe close your eyes and just release. Inhale, open your eyes, exhale. 
Sweep your hands to the floor as you bend your knees, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, halfway lift, inhale, Ardha, Uttanasana. Exhale, walk, step, jump, hop, fly through your vinyasa, upward and downward facing dogs we meet. Right leg steps through, left foot turns, warrior one, excuse me, I almost said warrior two, now I'll say warrior two, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, right hand in front of your right foot, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon balance now. Open up, left arm on top of right. Any variations you take are more than welcome. Lifting your body up out of your... So don't dump into your joints and don't jump, dump into things that you can possibly hold on to. Just let them be your guides and then let them help you and assist you not... Oops. <laughs> and not create shortness. We want length. Now as you exhale, Left hand comes down to the floor, hips go square, right knee bends, left leg steps back for that twist into the right side. Lower the left knee to the floor. Release the top of the foot. Right hand down, right leg straightens, fold over it. Head towards your shin, pull that right hip back and that left hip forward. Relax the neck and shoulders away from the ears. Try to keep that left, that right big toe down rather than rolling off to the pinky side. If the toes are up, it's okay, but don't let it roll to the right side of your foot. Inhale, re-bend the front knee. Lift your arms up over your head. Take a prayer twist to the outside of your right thigh. Thumbs to your heart center. Breathe. Now, option to stay right where you are. Option to bring your arms outside of your hips and your knees. So your right arm outside your right hip, your left arm outside your right knee. Then plant your, you might have to lift your toes up a little bit, and plant your palms to the floor and create a ledge to sit on so that maybe you can lift your feet off the floor and balance. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. So if you're not taking the balance, here you are in this twist. One more breath. And then make your way back to center, hands to the floor. Lift your left knee up off the floor. If it's not, step back to a high plank and vinyasa. Up and down dogs, hips in the air. Take a break, take a breath. Left leg in the air. Step it on through. Right foot turns, warrior one, inhale. Open up, warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior inhale, and find Ardha Chandrasana on the exhale. Left arm down, right leg lifts, open up hip, shoulder stack. Right arm lifts off of your hip if you can. Eye gaze goes up if you can. Any variations that you may have taken on the other side or choose to take. Beautiful, turn the left toes all the way forward. Try to stay with the breath. You've just got one more big, beautiful breath. Release if you're bound, right arm down, hips go square, right leg steps back, we open up to the left side, once again, twisting. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Keep drawing that left hip towards your midline, one more breath. As you exhale, left hand down, right knee down, and sit back towards your right shin, and see what you've got going on in those hamstrings. Fold over your left leg. So please bend the knee if you need to. Shorten it up if you need to. Go deeper if you want to. It's all there for you and it's all good. And I'm even talking to myself when I say don't roll off onto that left pinky toe. Breathe in. And then re-bend your front knee. Bring the arms up over your head. Inhale. Prayer to the heart. Lengthen, twist to the left side, hook your arm around the outside, and of course the option is to stay right where we are. Or maybe you want to try that arm balance, so the hands will come down, left arm outside left hip, right arm outside left knee. Maybe I lift my back foot up, plant my palms, sit on my triceps, 
and lift off of the floor and balance. This is optional, never any force to have to do this. If not, you are still in your seated twist. Michelle Pines, if you're still there, I hope you didn't do that arm balance. I believe that was the scene of the crime. Breathe in, breathe out. And then release your hands to the floor. Tuck your right toes under, take your vinyasa. Up and downward facing dogs. Hips up. Chest towards the eyes. Inhale. And exhale. High up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look forward. Jump step, walk up, fly to the top, look up halfway. Exhale, fold and bend your knees. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, rise up, arch back. Hands to prayer. Close your eyes for a moment, settle in. Wipe off the sand off of your hands. <laughs> Get a lot of sandy work outside. Open up your eyes, next breath. Take your arms down and up overhead. Take your right arm under your left arm once or twice. Eagle wrap, lift the arms up. And then bring them right down through the midline of your body. So closing off the space in the midline of your face, the midline between your, the two sides of your body. Now bend your knees, sit your weight back to your heels, lift your right heel up. Balancing, so we did this in the beginning. We lifted our leg up off the floor. Now our knee is bent. Come up, cross over once, perhaps twice. Try to draw the hips towards midline. Inhale and exhale. You can always have your foot on the floor or wrapped around or on a block. And then maybe you go halfway. Get the belly off the thighs. Lift halfway up, release the bind. Right leg behind you. Breathe. Soften front knee. Warrior one, eagle arms. Exhale, release the arms. Straighten front leg, fold over it. Let's step that back foot in a little bit closer. Turn your hips squared, right hand inside, outside foot shin or block. Lengthen your spine. Parvita Trikonasana, twisted triangle pose or revolve. Left arm, block, block, block. <laughs> Block. I don't speak sign language, I'm sorry. <laughs> Left arm up, twist, twist, twist. Find length, find length, find length. One more big breath. Now, just release your right foot from the floor. Block. <laughs> and twist. Parvrita Arda Chandrasana. Any variation is good. So if you want to take a bind, you take a bind. Um, those of you who know me know this is my least favorite pose in yoga. Absolutely, because it's very challenging for me. As you exhale, lower left hand. Let's revolve that Ardha Chandrasana into its normal stance. Opening up that hip one more time. It should feel better on that left hip right now. One more breath. Lower hand down, hip square. Right knee to chest, round and curl, and step your feet together. This time, let's just separate our feet, hips width apart, and slide our hands underneath our feet, wrapping the big toe around your wrist. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, fold, head to shin. Pulling and pushing all at the same time. So you'll feel your back opening up, you'll feel your hamstrings, you'll feel everything settling. Back to your standing. Rise up slowly with a rag doll. Arms come all the way up overhead. Hands together at your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, left arm under right once or twice. Arms come up, away from your chest. Exhale, bring everything towards the midline. Bend your knees, chair pose. Weight into your right leg, left leg lifts. Cross it over once or maybe twice. And hook the foot or take it to the floor. Just keep your torso lifted, keep your hips low. Inhale and exhale. And then fold over in front of your knee, reach your fingers forward, try, try to create some length. Then lift halfway up, release the bind of the legs, kick it back behind you, fly, warrior three, eagle arms. 
into warrior one, eagle arms. Release the eagle arms, arms come up, straighten front leg, and fold over it. Step your back foot in a little bit closer, square off your hips, right hip back, left hip forward, head towards shin, and breathe. Holding into pyramid pose for one breath, and then we take this into our twisted triangle. So come to your fingers, a block on the foot or shin, right hand to your right hip, lengthen your spine, twist to the right side, and maybe that right arm goes up over your shoulder. So try to get that right arm up over your shoulder. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more breath. Exhale. Right hand back to your hip. Look down. Shift your weight. You might need a block under your left arm. Lifting left leg off the floor. Squeezing hips together. Lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. I'll use my water bottle. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Big, big breath. and then come back to center, fold over your right leg. Let's just reverse it, open up the hip now. Left side, Ardha Chandrasana. One more big, beautiful breath. Hands down, hips square. Left knee round and curl. Step your feet together. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, bring your arms behind your calves, fingers, wrists, forearms, or elbows, and fold your body in half. Release the arms, bring your feet together, bend your knees, chair pose, Utkatasana. Press down through your feet, rise up, hands to prayer, exhale, close your eyes, settle in. One more time, open your eyes and lift your right leg up off the floor. This time float it back behind you. Dip your belly, arch your back. Bring the right knee back to your chest. Now place that right knee next to the left knee so your, your shin is parallel to the floor. Reach your arms up. Take your right arm to your waistline, palm up, and grab a hold of that right foot on the inside. Turn your left palm forward. Open up your shoulder. Laura, you do it your way. I know you do you and I'll do me. And then kick your foot into your hand and start to tilt forward, torso long, kicking the foot away from you. Having it peek up over your head at some point, perhaps. Trying to keep the right hip closer in. Don't get frustrated, it's just balance, okay? The earth is spinning, things are happening fast. Take your time. One more breath. And then come back to standing slowly. Just back out of it the way you came in. With grace, hands to prayer, left knee up. Kick the leg back behind you. Dip your belly on your back. Come back to standing, left knee by right knee. Arms reach up. Left hand to your waist, open up your palm. Right palm forward, and then pick your foot up from the inside. If you'd like to do it the other way, that's fine and then kick your foot into your hand, dip your belly, arch your back. So there's just different lineages of yoga that take you into different places. That's why we have two Ardha Chandrasanas. Today I did two. This is one, the other one was balancing. All right, so this, they just come from different lineages. So sometimes we hold our foot in a different position or our body, and it doesn't mean anything, except I can't balance today. <laughs> and then come back out of it as gracefully, as not as gracefully as I did, however. Hands in prayer. Inhale, reach the arms back up overhead. Take a forward fold all the way down to the floor. Hands to the floor, shift the blocks, halfway lift. And make your way through your final vinyasa here. I know, I, should, I say final vinyasa, it may not be. Hips up in the air. Chest to thighs, breathe. Now let your knees come down to the floor. Tuck your toes underneath you, sit back on your heels for a moment. Keeping the toes tucked, reach your hips back. 
and then rise up to your knees or your shins. You can keep the toes tucked or untucked and you'll see what happens. We're going to do a camel. We're going to do a half camel first. So first, take your right arm up by your ear. Drop the shoulders down. Gaze up at it and follow it around to your right heel. If you don't need your toes tucked here, then feel free to release them. Take your left arm, turn it back towards your face, and lift your heart up. Push back. <laughs> lift, lift, lift. So think about, it again, that heart, that sternum being pulled up and backwards. And then come back to center, arms up, hands to prayer. So decide if you need to tuck the toes underneath you still. Good. Bring the uh, left arm up. Follow it up and around to your left heel. Right arm comes up, turn the palm towards you. Now turn those hips forward and push your hips forward. Breathe, arch back. Beautiful, nice rage, breathe. And then come on back up. Sit back on your heels, keep your arms up over your head, palms together, thumbs crossed, biceps by your ears. And then come forward, keeping your biceps by your ears. Crown of the head, or your forehead down before the sides of your, the blade sides of your pinky wrists, or the pinky sides of your fingers, your hands, and lift everything else off the floor. Push back. Now keeping the connection of your hands, biceps by the ears, push down through your shins, and rise up to sitting on your heels. And then rise up onto your shins. You can take your toes underneath you again, you can take one arm at a time, or bring both arms behind you into your camel pose. Full camel or half camel again, Arda. Or breathe. Beautiful. Let your head go back only if that's appropriate for you. Keep pushing your hips forward. And then when you're ready, you either come back to your hips or bring the arms up. And this time, go ahead and sit back on your heels. Release your hands, cup your heels. Chin to your chest, round and curl your spine, forehead to your knees, top of the head to the floor, lift your hips up, and pull against your heels to round your spine, get that upper back rounded. So I like to pull against my heels and spread my upper back open. No weight on the head and bring your forehead and your knees to touch. So walk your knees up a little bit if you have to. Take two more breaths here. And then release your hips to your heels. Relax the shoulders. And slowly roll yourselves up. You're sitting towards the back of the mat. Cross your legs. Sit in Sukhasana. Left leg in front of right. Or right leg in front of right. <laughs> Hands on your thighs or on your knees to give you a little bit of length in your spine. Then bring your chin to your chest and roll backwards away from your sitting bones. Chin to chest, fold. Like you got punched in the stomach. Rise up, inhale. Look to the right side. Left hand outside, right thigh, right arm behind you. Find that length in your spine. Inhale as you exhale, twist. Drop the shoulders. Come back to center. Switch sides. Left hand behind you. Right arm, good twist. Three. Come back to center. Lean back, shake out your legs. Switch the cross of your legs, right foot in front. Walk your hands in front of you and take it to the point where you first start to feel. Take a breath there and see if you can bring it down a little bit more. Stay where you are and breathe. Relax your body, relax your shoulders. And take one more breath here. Oh, my leg is in front. And walk your hands back in. Good. Stretch your legs out in front of you and shake them out. So, grab some water if you need it. All right, again. So I want you to bend your knees, sit on the floor. You can keep your feet apart, um, hips width, but you can keep them a little bit wider from your, from your tush as well for now. Lift your chest up. 
Drop your shoulders down, plant your feet into the floor. Take your hands behind you, fingers point inward if you can. Lift your chest up, you don't have to lift your hips just yet. Squeeze your shoulders together, and you can stay there, or you can lift your hips up, tabletop, reverse tabletop. Maybe your head drops back. Good, one more. Lower your hips, come down. Good, now, step your left foot in a little closer. Place your right ankle above your left knee. Uh, hello, hips. So let's just start bringing the right hand in between your that triangle and left hand to your shin. So you wrap and bind your arms around. Flex your right foot, lift your chest up, see if you can sit up tall. It's a little challenging for me, I know. My hips are tight. All right, so here's the, here's the challenging part, Rich. Move forward on your mat. So you guys might want to, I should have told you this earlier, sorry, move forward on your mat. And remember that grace that we did earlier? We're going to roll down with grace. So I want you to first come to your left toes. Pull your belly in. So I'm going to show you the Glamour Don't first, and then I'll show you the Glamour Do. So the Glamour Do is when you get here and gravity pulls you down and you kind of do that flop, right? Ah, option. Arms come down to the floor so you don't do the flop. Or you really control your core slowly, slowly one vertebrae at a time until you're back on the floor. Now when you get back on the floor, you might have to change the grip of your hands and just hold under the hamstrings. Both feet are flexed. Pulling that left knee in and, you know, my favorite word, nudging that right knee away, right? It's the best, the best uh, visual I can give you is to nudge that right knee away and pull that left knee in at the same time. One more big breath. Now, just keep your figure four, but release your hand grip and put your left foot on the floor and let your right leg carry the left leg over to the right side. Option, so I like personally, and this is always personal choice, I like my left shin more parallel to the front edge of the mat. I, I feel it. That's how I feel it. All right, so your arms can be by your side. And there's just it's just a simple, it's gravity and the weight of the leg. There's no other force putting that leg down to the floor. Feel it, Rach? Yeah. <laughs> One more breath. Come back to center. Right leg crosses over left once or twice. Knees go to the left side. I'm going to have an allergy sneeze in a second. <coughs> Let's see. Thank you. Okay. And then before coming back, uncross your legs and come back to center. Hug knees to chest, round and curl. Nice and tight ball. Heels towards your buttocks. Hands towards the top of your feet. And like in Pilates, roll like a ball. Just try to Create a little bit of breath work rather than kicking your feet, and then come back up to seated. Hands behind you, fingers hoops point inward, lift your hips up, reverse your tabletop, drop your head only if it's appropriate. Good. As you empty the breath, come on back down to sitting. This time it's the left ankle over the right knee, and um, even tighter on this side. So hold on to your shin if you can, flex your left foot, make it really active, and then push the ankle or the top of the foot or shin towards the left knee. And take your way down to the floor, slow and controlled. I won't call you out, don't worry. Round your back, take your time, because I don't know, maybe I won't do it so well either. And your head come down to the floor. And then maybe adjust your hand positioning and nudge your left knee away and pull your right knee in towards your chest. Press and pull all at the same time. Releasing the right foot to the floor, release your arms. Let the weight of the left leg carry the right leg to the side. And then I again like to have my right shin parallel to the floor by the front edge of the mat. That's me personally. And then take your left leg over your right leg once or twice and let the knees come over to the right side. Don't worry. If, if it feels too constricting, open up your legs. If it doesn't feel enough, bring your knees closer to your chest. Double wrap your legs. 
and then uncross legs before coming back to center. Hug your knees to your chest, round and curl your spine. This time we're going to stay on our back and take happy baby pose, taking your hands to your feet, outer edges, big toe, maybe the bottoms of your feet, maybe just under your thighs, and maybe you sway a little bit side to side, just rocking and catching yourself in that rock before you come over to either side. And then find your way to center, feet towards the ceiling, knees towards the outer ribs, breathe in, and breathe out. Gently release your hands from your feet and straighten your legs up. Keep your legs about hips width apart, and now relax your feet. So get your tailbone to the floor, ribs towards your hips so you're not, you don't have that giant old arch in your back. Arms are by your side, and maybe your legs start to shake a little bit. And just let them be for a few breaths. If it feels good, take your arms over your head, either bent or straight, you can choose. Keep lengthening out. So when the arms go overhead, the back wants to arch a little bit. So see if you can keep that top in your pelvis. So just drop the rib cage down towards your hips. And then let's just go ahead and interlace our hands behind our head and lift our head and shoulders up, elbows out to the side. Take your left elbow to your right knee. Come back to center, take your right elbow to your left knee. Come back to center, let's do that one more time, keeping in rhythm with that side bending. And one more time to the left. And then come back to the center, lift your head and shoulders up off the floor now, flex your feet nice and strong. Reach your feet towards the sky. Reach your hands towards your feet, release your head. Hold here for five, breath. Four, three, two, one. Head down, arms by your side. Maybe arms are underneath your hips. Bring your feet together, point your toes. Start to lower your legs towards the floor. And as you lower your legs towards the floor, think about lengthening them out of your body keeping nice and strong, staying connected to that floor. As the legs touch down, come to your forearms, lift your heart, top of the head to the floor. And here, any variations are welcome. If you have other variations of this pose, feel free to take them. Just the most important thing is that you're not putting weight into your head, that it's rather in your forearms. And then open up your throat and your heart. Take one more breath. Chin to chest as you exhale, roll down, draw knees to chest, take another spinal twist, bring your arms out shoulder height, knees fall to the left, look to the right, take a big, big twist. And then switch to the other side. I offer this time now for you to do any other poses that you'd like to do before taking your final Shavasana. If there's something that's just calling to you, a headstand maybe, a pigeon maybe, we did it on our back kind of, sort of, so um, if you feel like you want to have another one, um, any other variations of anything, a bridge, a wheel, plow, or just stay on your back now and find your final Shavasana pose. So laying down and scanning your body from head to toe, and just notice maybe what's going on in your body. If you're not in Shavasana yet, take your time. Complete the practice as you need it. Final pose to me is the hardest pose in yoga because there's nothing to do. We're not, not all so good with that. So let go. Allow your mat, mat to support your body weight and let it all melt into the earth. So take this opportunity to give back.
invite you to stay as long as you like in your Shavasana. Or begin to make small movements through your body, engaging deeper breaths. And take yourself onto your right side, you can pull over your head. Make your way back up to a seated position, bring your hands together in prayer. Close your eyes. Shanti, 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 oh peace, peace, peace to all. And now, just imagine turning to your right and left, there's somebody sitting next to you, in front of you, behind you, and acknowledging the peace, the beauty, the, beauty, the light, the goodness within each one of us. Namaste, Sat Namgo, and peace. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all for being here. To my home viewers, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.